check out the fancy drawbridge. you I can't believe we're about to knock on Tony Stark's door <sighs> me neither looks like the controls are on the other yeah. side find a way over there I mean I could break through those rocks but the green guy isn't the best at talking things out good point No, he uh, <gasps> smashing things. Not me. Why not? It's kind of fun. <sighs> so, what's the best part of being the Hulk? You gotta like something. Uh, we should really focus on the drawbridge. What are you gonna do? Stand around in silence the whole time? Yeah, great idea. Eh, suit yourself. More rocks? No problem. Uh-oh. Are you okay? That jump just a little farther this time. Uh, made it. Okay, guess it needs power. Still waiting on that bridge, Kamala. Ta da! I hereby grant you passage to Sir Stark's fancy castle. Okay, calm down. Nice job. Sounds like he's up at least. Isn't that one of his top five songs to kick, uh, butt to? Yep. And hello, Golden Acres! Oh. This can't be it. Let's get this over with. So Tony Stark, the Tony Stark lives here? Oh, here so. Tony? Hey, Bruce. Long night? Ooh, long five years. <laughs> um, at least it's quiet. Yeah. It was. I... Uh, hey, back off! Hi, I'm sorry. Who are you? Uh, Kamala? Well, uh, Kamala, your Emeraldite friend here is kind of on my shit list. Okay. I deserve it. Yeah, you're damn right you deserved it. Do the Avengers pose a danger to society? That was the question, Bruce. That was the question. Did you even check the science? Did you it was a heist, science? Bruce. No. We were outsmarted. No. The Terrigen reactor was unstable, <sighs> and you knew that, you knew that, and you still paraded it before the entire world. So what? We just give up? We didn't give up, Tony. We failed. At least I can admit that. No. No, we failed him. We failed him. Tony, I don't know how long you're gonna be mad at me, and to be honest with you, I don't really care. Take as long as you want. But, but the kid is inhuman. We did this. And she needs your help. I, I can't.
can't, I can't. You can't what? You're ditching me? Oh, hey, don't take it personally, kid. No, this is what he does, isn't it? And why don't you take a good look around, huh? I can barely help myself. <laughs> this was a mistake. Now we agree on something. So you're both just gonna walk away? The Avengers were set up. Cap was murdered. You think I don't know that? Huh? I've replayed that day in my head a thousand times. The Avengers take the fall despite saving the day, and that bastard Charlton walks away smelling like a rose. And guess what? Guess what? No one cares. No one cares. The world needed someone to blame, and he gave them their scapegoat. So, unless you have some kind of astounding proof, I suggest you both get off my land. What is that? Proof. This better be good. Hmm. Kind of buried the lead, you know. Could have told me about that earlier. No, no, no. No sitting on my couch. You're still on the list. Where did you get this? I guess your password on some resistance blog. Impressive. Dude, your password was I am Iron Man. Really? Huh. Thought I'd change that. Son of a bitch. I know, it's incomplete. There's a whole folder on AIM's server. No, no, there's, there's more here. What? Yeah, look, it's smart. They encrypted it to look like a corrupt file. Need a few hours, I'll get all the rest. What is this? Who is, who is Tiny Dancer? Oh no. We gotta get out of here. What? You know this shameless Elton John fan? They helped me get out of Jersey. I wouldn't be here if they hadn't warned me about AIM. Really? Tiny Dancer? Look, we really should go. Now. I would have gone with Rocket Man. Okay. I got to get dressed. You have a suit? Yeah. Maybe, sort of. We'll see. Excuse me while I slip into something less comfortable. Bruce tries to saddle me with a stray fangirl. After all these years, he still can't own up to his own responsibilities. No, oh, son of a... Well, looks like Tiny Dancer was telling the truth. They found you, Bruce. Yeah, don't judge me, Grandpa. I'm doing my best. Oh, great Nana's flying machine. Still a thing of beauty. Can't say the same about her. crashers.
You always love to make an entrance, Stark. How did I do? Uh, I'll give you a 7 out of 10. Good to see you, Georgie boy. You been working out? Feel any other billion dollar companies lately? Just yours. Hey! You're gonna pay for that window, Tarleton! This is your new place? I expected more mirrors. I got rid of everything that didn't spark joy. Guess what pile you're in? Turn the girl over, Stark. And that will get you off my lawn. Uh, Mr. Stark. I'm joking, kid. Just stay near the nice green man. <laughs> Well, you know, she seems fine to me. Ah, do people actually buy that crap? How's Charlton controlling these machines? I don't know. He got powers after the accident. I saw him controlling a robotic spider thing once. Well, he's leveled up from spiders. Seeing someone about our issues. She's great. Short, stretchy, really good at guessing past me. You have looked down on me from the moment we met. Let me introduce you to what I like to call Technokinesis. Sketchy! Rolls right off the tongue! We got air trouble. Stay close to the Hulk, or as close as he'll let you. <laughs> no, I got this. Watch. Wait, you're not ready for... Or maybe you are. You're still putting the weak in danger. You never learn. Weak? Is that why you sent an army to take her down? I'm a compliment, actually. I like you more every second, kid. Incoming! You heard Dr. Banner's testimony, Stark. The Avengers were dangerous. I was the one who ordered you to be dissolved. this for me? Oh, you shouldn't have. You don't flatter yourself. I barely get to the finger. So the kid's right? You're mind melding with robots now? You're choosing sides in a battle you don't fully understand. I chose my side five years ago. You showed up and forced my hand. Banner can do whatever you want. Forget it. Took the word. You need to listen to logic and reason. Why start now? Wait! No! The stuff was in there. How are you feeling? I've never felt better. Your synthetics were useless. If you'd let me deal with the Hulk and Khan earlier, the Archive would still be standing. Watch your words. You no longer make the rules. He does. When I was young, I found an orphaned wolf cub in the forest behind our farm. What? Dad said it was too dangerous. He told me to get rid of it. I fed that cub. I named him. I watched him play with my beloved dog, Darwin. You're wasting my time. I felt if I could instill rules, the proper boundaries, I could harness the raw power of that beast. Are you done rambling? Almost. Oh. A few months later, while hunting, the adolescent cub turned on me, 
snarling, frothing at the mouth. Darwin bought me a few precious moments to call for help. My dad shot the wolf, but it was too late. Darwin had been torn to pieces. George. We need him. I'm sorry. I don't know what came over me. Leave. Please. Jarvis! You haven't aged a day. Welcome back, Mr. Stark. Missed you, buddy. You flying free? In full working order. Give me the worst of it. The Chimera is running on secondary power. Major hull damage is also detected. Engines are offline. Climbing... So it's bad. That is an accurate assessment. Okay, we gotta get this bird airborne. <laughs> Excuse me? AIM knows it's here. So it needs to not be here when they get here. What? All right. While we work on cleanup, you mind taking a look at something for me? Certainly, sir. Gotta see why the turbines won't activate. Better check out the initiator cores in the hangar. Technical knowledge to Bruce here. Well, I can see I have my work cut out for me. Not helping, Tony. I'm Phil Sheldon, reporting live from somewhere in rural Utah. Ah, the old commissary. Oh. Oh, I'm live. Okay. Following AIM's emergency public warning today... Wait, wasn't this working before? Okay, Jarvis. Time me. 1.04 seconds, sir. Huh. Guess I'm a bit rusty. Jarvis, pop question. Where do we keep the spark plugs? The initiator cores can be found in the far corner of the lower deck, sir. Correct, Amundo. Do I win a prize now, sir? You win the biggest prize of all, my affection. How exciting. Oh yeah, that looks perfectly up to safety standards. I think I found the problem. I just... Oh! It's definitely the initiator cores. Wait, don't the bigger aim bots use similar cores? If we could get a hold of one, I could get this old bird in the air in no time. Indeed, sir. But someone would need to procure said initiator cores. Yeah, I barely have a suit. Maybe I could cobble something together. I'll search inventory for leftover pieces of armor. Thanks, buddy. Hey, Tony, I'm still working on the door, but can you check on Kamala? I think she may have turned off her comms. Oh, okay. Sure. Yeah, this whole thing, it's uh, probably a tough adjustment. You got it. Second floor of the old crew quarters, right? Jarvis, can you see if she's even up there? Sir, there are no surveillance systems in the private quarters. Whose terrible hippie idea was that? Yours, sir. Right. Well, 
Thanks, I'm about to barge into a teenager's room. You. Whoa. <gasps> hey! Sorry? You should have knocked. I was trying. Uh, I was knocking. Fist. Jarvis, help me out here. It appears the locking mechanisms on some of the Chimera's crew quarters have not been enabled. There you have it. I will fix that. Please do. I'm gonna meet up on the command deck in about ten minutes. You should, uh, should come. I know, I... I look ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. Of course you do. Man... No, 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 we all do. It's part of the job. Have you seen Thor's outfit? The flowing robe? Vegas shoulder pads? Pretty ridiculous. <laughs> I am digging this, uh... Oh, it's a burkini. My mom bought it for me. Muslim ladies like to wear it for sports and stuff. It's great. Uh, all right, I'm just gonna change. Wait, 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 wait. The outfit is, is all about attitude. You gotta wear it like you mean it. Show me what you got. Come on, you can do better than that. Yeah, now we're talking? All right. You know what? Maybe I can help you with some upgrades for that. Gear's already spinning. Really? Yeah. Oh, and if Bruce says anything, just remind him that all he wears are super stretchy shorts. <laughs> Rose, the kid's fine. She's tough. Kind of like her. And she laughs at my jokes. Yeah, she, uh, she grows on you. Hey, uh, meet me at the tech lab. I've almost got this door fixed. You got it, stretchy pants. You're still working on this door, huh? Well, I just need to remove the entire junction box and reconnect the... Ah! Great job, buddy. See? Wasn't so hard. Home sweet home. All right, if we're gonna get anywhere, we'll need to establish an alternate power source. Chimera was built for Terrigen, but I can convert it to run on something a little less explodey. I'm scanning the region for sources, but it'll take some time to identify potential initiator core heat signatures. Well, in the meantime, I need a new suit. Where can I find parts to repair the fabrication unit? I've located a good salvage spot and have sent the coordinates to the war table. When you're ready. War table, got it. Fix the fabrication unit, get a shiny new suit, then get this bird off the ground. All right, first stop. No way I'm gonna be any help fixing up the Chimera without my own upgrade. Jarvis, what do you got for me? AIM is moving an experimental dropship, which could be appropriated for parts to repair the fabrication machine. Unfortunately, it's extremely well guarded. But AIM's local defenses are designed around a large-scale air assault. If I fly in alone, using the canyon for cover, I should be able to slip through and jack the dropship. It's risky, but I don't see an alternative at this point. I'll upload the dropship's last known location to your HUD. The canyon walls prevent me from fully confirming the intel. I suggest you work quickly. Well, I'm not exactly rocking a state-of-the-art suit, but it should get me there in one piece. Two, max. We need to move fast. Updating your HUD. AIM appears aware of our intrusion. How about we call this a surprise visit? Intrusion makes it sound like we're the bad guys. Noted, sir. Acquisition trip it is.
I'm not sure how long our quarry will remain at its lip. How much firepower does AIM have down here? Rather a lot, it would seem. And how much was Bill with tech they stole from Stark Industries after A-Day? It's impossible to say at this stage. Possibly rather a lot. Karma is not my friend. It's interesting how many of AIM's systems look closely related to your designs. George never was an original thinker. Makes them compatible, though, which is handy. The suit's doing great. Isn't calling it a suit rather generous? Ha, <laughs> that's funny. Make the AI sassy, I said. It'll be fun, I said. That elevator goes to the landing pad we need. Gotcha. Look at all this. Which nation state is AIM planning to go to war with? Those munitions also appear similar to your designs. Makes a guy sort of want to blow them up. Let's get the dropship and get gone, before AIM brings the big guns, literally. I quite agree, sir. It's safe to say Dr. Tarleton would relish the chance to dance on your grave. Thanks, Jarvis. Now I'm stuck with a mental image of George doing the robot on my headstone. Apologies, sir. If I'm correct, the dropship should be just up ahead. Well, this place looks... Homie? Where the hell is my dropship? Scanning. The dropship was moved to a more secure location ahead. We can't get there before it takes off. We can if we overcharge the suit by 300% and take the direct route. Sir, you might literally explode, and that canyon is treacherous. Sure, but I feel the need for speed. Do it, Goose, and play something fast. Your suit won't last forever. This suit's all I've got left after George burned Golden Acres to the ground. I'm not losing it. Gloves are making weird noises. Unsurprising. You just lost an acoustic dampening suit. Keep going, sir. Jarvis, this is my shot to make up for A-Day, help the kid, and, if I'm honest, stick it to Georgie Boy. You're damn right I'll keep going. The dropship's powering up. Watch out. Their artillery's targeting you. Incoming. On it! Use all the juice left in the suit to get an EMP burst ready for me to trigger. Yes, sir. 
I've scanned the dropship and it contains the needed parts to repair the Chimera's fabrication machine. Excellent. Let's check in on the kids and head home. <laughs> Bruce, Kamala, you read me? Loud and clear. Uh, Bruce is in the harm room pretending to be, uh... I don't even want to know. So, any luck out there? Success! We'll all be in new threads soon. The fabrication machine should be back online in no time. Great! Can't wait to make Bruce a new pair of yoga pants. Was fun. I gotta say, it's nice to be back in the saddle. Yes, sir. You haven't missed a beat. Ah, glad to see that flattery upgrade kicked in. Now, let's take a peek at our loot. Ah, we hit the jackpot, buddy. This is exactly what I need to fix the fabrication machine. Glad to hear it. Especially as your current suit is now, how would you put it? Kaput. Hey, hey, did the job, right? I thought this tech looked familiar. These are all based on my designs. Some are near exact. They're sure taking advantage of the Stark tech acquisition. I was kind of hoping they'd just sit on the assets. Right. That is more like it. Don't it look amazing, Jarvis? Take my picture. Well done, sir. 